Our growing calls for a federal takeover of Rikers Island. The troubled correction facility is notorious for staffing issues, and this week, three correction officers were arrested, accused of faking sick leave for more than a year. PIX 11's Ayana Harry has been on top of the story, and she joins us now with more. Ayana. Shirley and Corey, prosecutors say these correction officers were so bold, one bragged on social media, two went on vacation to the Dominican Republic, all while claiming to be too sick to work month after month. Despite the crackdown on alleged correction officer misconduct, the city could still lose control of Rikers. Surprisingly, they're getting worse. Um, and I say surprisingly because the bar was already so low. A critical moment for New York City's jails with a potential federal takeover looming, 18 deaths in custody this year, and three correction officers arrested, accused of faking sick leave as the jail faced a staffing crisis. Sick leave abuse was rampant at the department. Two of the officers charged Thursday are engaged couple Monica Coxum and Eduardo Trinidad. Investigators say while calling out sick for two years, they traveled around the country, collecting a combined $200,000 in salaries. And Trinidad was photographed doing construction work and bowling while telling the DOC he was in a boot and sling. Serena Town Townsend is a former lead investigator for staff misconduct inside Rikers. There was a lot of advantage taken, which led to unstaffed posts, understaffing in general, and of course, violence and death in the facilities. The head of the correction officers union recently pushed back, saying his members are working in a jail that's out of control. That has led to an onslaught of officers being assaulted through the roof, and that's the reason why my members are out sick on the men. Earlier this week on the PIX11 Morning News, the jail commissioner described a recent attack of an officer stabbed 15 times by an inmate. It just shows a glimpse of the challenges um, that our officers face every day. Commissioner Molina was brought in by Mayor Eric Adams to turn around the troubled jail. But with lingering concerns this year, a court hearing will be held next Friday, and a judge could take control of the jail away from the city and place it into the hands of a federal receiver. A move supported by the former head of the mayor's office for criminal justice, Liz Glazier. The jails are just simply unsafe for those who are incarcerated and for those who work there. The jail's commissioner is fighting to maintain control over Rikers. And as for the three officers arrested this week, they were all released after posting bond. Shirley and Corey.